The Sonnet by Julia Caroline Dorr, read for LibriVox.org by Danny Hogger. Part 1. To a Critic It is but cunning artifice, you say, to it no throb of nature answereth, it hath no living pulse, no vital breath, this puppet, fashioned in an elder day, through whose straight lips no heart can cry or pray, O deaf and blind of soul, these words that saith, If that thine ear is dull, what hindereth, That quicker ears should hear the bugles play, And the trump call to battle, Since the stars first sang together, And the exulting skies, Thrilled to their music, Earth hath never heard, Above the tumult of her worldly jars, Or loftier songs or prayers Than those that rise where the high sonnet Soareth like a bird. Part 2. To a Poet Thou who wouldst make the sonnet's silver lyre, Make thine hands clean, Then, as on eagles' wings, Above the soiling touch of sordid things, Bid thy soul soar till, mounting high and higher, It feels the glow of pure celestial fire, Bathes in clear light, and hears the song that rings, Through heaven's high arches, when some angel brings Gifts to the throne, on wings that never tire. It hath a subtle music, strangely sweet, Yet all unmeet for dance or roundelay, Or idle love that fadeth like a flower. It is the voice of hearts that strongly beat, The cry of souls that grandly love and pray, The trumpet peal that thrills the battle hour. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. At Rest by Julia Caroline Dorr Read for LibriVox.org by Danny Hogger when Greek meets Greek, you know, he sadly said, Then comes the tug of war, I deem him great, And own him wise and good, Yet adverse fate hath made us enemies. If I were dead, and buried deep with grave mould on my head, I still believe that, came he soon or late, Where I was lying in my last estate, My dust would quiver at his lightest tread. The slow years passed, and one fair summer night, when the low sun was reddening all the west, I saw two grave mounds, where the grass was bright, lying so near each other that the crest of the same wave touched each with amber light. But ah, dear hearts, how undisturbed their rest! End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Mercedes by Julia Caroline Dorr Read for LibriVox.org by Danny Hogger O fair young queen, who liest dead today In thy proud palace o'er the moaning sea, With still white hands that never more may be, Lifted to pluck life's roses bright with May, Little is it to you that, far away, Where skies you knew not bend above the free, Hearts touched with tender pity turn to thee, And for thy sake a shadow dims the day. But youth and love and womanhood are one, Though across sundering seas their signals fly, Young love's pure kiss, the joy but just begun, The hope of motherhood, thy people's cry. O oh, thou fair child, was it not hard to die, And leave so much beneath the summer sun? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Grass Grown by Julia Caroline Dorr Read for LibriVox.org by Danny Hogger Grass grows at last above all graves, you say. Why, therein lies the sharpest sting of all. To think that stars will rise and dews will fall, Hills flush with purple splendor, Soft winds play, where roses bloom, and violets of May. Robin to robin in the treetops call, And all sweet sights and sounds the senses thrall, Just as they did before that strange, sad day. Does that bring comfort? 
Are we glad to know that our eyes sometime must forget to weep, even as June forgets December's snow? Over the graves where our beloved sleep, we charge thee, time, let not the green grass grow, nor your relentless mosses coldly creep. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.